the man had the gun at the window at the, at, when we looked back to him. So he instantly grabbed the wheel and he was like, please, please don't kill me. Please, please don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. What did I do? Just tell me what I did. Please don't kill me. Please don't shoot me. And I'm like, what, yes, baby? It's not. You said explain. I'm trying I did. to explain I did. what state he was in, sir. I did. Good morning, Ms. Hill. I just have a couple of follow-up questions for you, okay? Yes. Um, so during the period that you were with Mr. Floyd in the store, uh, he was, uh, you said he was alert? Yes. Friendly? Yes. And talkative? Happy talking, yes. And hugging. Yep. Yeah. And when you went uh, out to the store, he walked by himself out to the store? Yes. In fact, did a little dance as he went out to the yes. car? We just have to make sure that you yes. wait till the question's done so we aren't talking over each other, okay? Just, I know it's a hard habit to break, but we just have to be careful with that, okay? And when you got back to the car, um, at some point he nodded off. Yes. Um, but you were able to wake him, correct? Yes. And talk to him? Yes, but he wasn't that coherent at the time. He was just awakening? Yes. And nodded off again? Yes. And at some point the police officers walked up, correct? <laughs> Said yes? Yes. And um, and then he, uh, well, you woke him up when the police officers walked up, correct? Yes. And so then he was awake. He, yes, you just want me to say yes or no, explain what he want me to do. Well, explain. I want to explain. Okay, thank you. So he, when I tried to wake him up, he woke up the second time I said, Floyd, the, the police is here. It's about the $20 bill wasn't real. I kept saying, baby, get up. The police was out. So he looked, and we looked to the right, and he had the police. He tapped on the window with a, with a um, flashlight. And I'm like, Floyd. And so he turned back around again. He's like, what, what? And I was like, baby, that's the police. Open the door, roll down the window, whatever he told him to do. So he looked back, and he when he seen the man, the man had the gun at the window at the, at, when we looked back to him. So he instantly grabbed the wheel. And he was like, please, please don't kill me. Please, please don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. What did I do? Just tell me what I did. Please don't kill me. Please don't shoot me. And I'm like, Floyd, yes, baby, it's not. You said explain. I'm trying I did, to explain what state he was in, sir. I did. And I, I have to ask some questions. Um, so I'm sorry to cut you off. I really am. So But I want to go back and just cover one thing quick. Because you, where were you sitting in the vehicle? In the back right passenger seat. Okay. And so when officers Back came, passengers. were there two officers that came to the vehicle? Yes. So one came to the passenger side and one to the driver's side? Yes. So initially you saw one officer to your right on the passenger side, correct? No, I seen, I was up like in, you know, I'm trying to wake him up. So I'm in the middle, like at the time, you know, when the police were there. That's how I was able to see him too. Just, we both looked at the same time. 